Uh, if you were a customer and you said, hey, why should I buy your machine? A lot of the times I do tell people is I think there are a lot of good machines out there. Um, you know, technology has come a long way. It's there, uh, but the support and service really makes a difference. I think really the accessibility, the service and support, the low turnover, you can build relationships with our team. I think that's a huge factor of why Ellis. Welcome back to MTD CNC North America, my friends. I have the privilege today to be in Southern California with my buddy Blake. We're standing in front of a Doosan, but we're going to talk a little bit about sales and service, specifically working with Ellison, who we value a lot. So, Blake, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC. No worries. Thanks for having me, Tony. And so, Blake, sales and service we know are so important to Ellison on many different levels because you have a huge team supporting a large percentage of the area. Mm -hmm. But could you share that with the audience watching right now? Sure, yeah. Ellison is a large, large company uh, nationwide. We cover about 70% of the U.S. We are the Doosan distributor for that territory that I just mentioned. Um, Southern California locally, we have a pretty large team as well. We have about 17 service engineers and six applications engineers. And our sales team consists, I think we're about nine people right now. Uh, we actually cover Southern California and um, we'll cover certain other areas if our customers have shops outside, you know, maybe some Mexico or whatnot. But yeah, Southern California, that's our team. We started up in Northern California and Berkeley and then Jim Ellison's dad moved down to uh, Southern California, LA. I believe we've been here since 1958. Right now we're currently in Santa Fe Springs. Um, we've been in that building for quite a while, a few years ago. About the time we took on the Deuce Online, we merged uh, two buildings together and expanded our facility even more. So we have a nice state-of-the-art showroom, our corporate teams there, sales, service, support. We handle a lot out of that office here in Southern California. So if I'm your first potential customer, how do you talk to me, Blake, when you say, this is what makes us unique, this is why you want to work with us, these are the reasons, and I go, yeah, there's nobody else to choose. Yeah, that's actually a great question. And that's actually one of the reasons I came to Ellison. When I first started, I was actually getting recruited by two different distributors. Uh, and I chose Ellison because of the reputation for support and service. One of the biggest factors we have going for us is it really is like a family culture. I mean, our turnover is very low. We have guys that have been with us for 30 years on our service team. Um, we have sales engineers, Pete McCreary, who's famous at Ellison. A lot of people know him in Southern California. He's been with us since 1984, I believe. Uh, selling machines, so the low turnover, I think the accessibility, we're really are, we are a nationwide company, but we're very decentralized office by office, so we're very accessible. And I think one of the reasons people work with me too is I'm being super accessible. I mean, you call, you text, you email, I get back to you quick. If I don't know the answer, I'll figure it out for you. Uh, and, and then the network that we provide. So you buy a horizontal machine, a five axis machine, you need work holding, you need tooling. I'll bring in vendors that I trust and know uh, to help you out, make sure you're successful, making money as quick as possible. Well, as sales guys, we obviously value our capability to get into the door, but we all know the second, third, fourth machines all come from sales and service, right? Yeah. And yeah. talking about accessibility, guys, I just sent Blake a text this morning to join me on camera, and here he is. Yeah. So he is ready to be with you. You talked a little bit about the machines that are around us. Let's talk about this horizontal machine from Doosan and the unique capabilities, even going beyond, you know, the way the chips flush down and being able to add more parts on a tombstone. What else is unique about these Doosan horizontal machines? Yeah, so the NHP we're standing in front of is actually a, a newer machine that Doosan released about, I think, four years ago here in the States. Might have had a little earlier overseas. Um, but this machine was really designed from the ground up to improve some features that you know customers and machine tool manufacturers struggled before. So our chip evacuation on this machine's phenomenal now. It's got what we call like a coolant river. So there's no more of those dual augers. It's actually a trough in the middle that just flushes chips away. Yeah, so that's one of the cool features we've done. Um, I think even just adding probing is now standard on the machine. So the receiver's built in, uh, tool setters and spindle probes, you can customize how you want. The control is really capable now as well too. Uh, these machines are now coming with high-speed data servers, expanded memory, uh, and then the spindle speed and the spindle reliability. I mean, we have customers that are cutting parts 24-7, a lot of guys in the firearms industries, and the spindles run, they run, they run, they run, they run, they run, and the machines are really well built. Um, they're extremely heavy duty as well, too. And you look at the weight of the casting, we're a lot heavier than some of our competitors by five to 10,000 pounds. So. Wow, that's impressive. So everything you just said reminds me of a concept that we hear over and over and over again these days and that's 
price per part. It's not about what we're investing in the upfront cost of the machine or what it's gonna cost us per year if we're gonna finance it, but it's price per part. And what you just named, speed, more parts, reliability, rigidity, that enables us to get deeper into our cuts. We are lowering that price per part every single time, aren't we? Yeah, and you look at it as price per part. I actually, when I'm talking to somebody like a shop owner, I look at it as dollar per square foot because you own the machine, you own the building, so how much more dollar per square foot can you squeeze out? Yeah, so when you look at like this horizontal with our dual contact Cat 40 Big Plus spindle, you're increasing tool life, you're having to change the tools less, so you're interfering with the parts less, and then you have the capability of a horizontal, which you know some people will get a little scared of, you know, why do I need that? But it's really just a three axis tilted 90 degrees, and so you're just programming for three axis machines. And you can hit more sides, so less setup, less part crap, higher profit. I'd like to totally validate that point based on the fact that we're standing in Sun Feral Aerospace today, which was a building bought in 1986, I believe, for a million dollars. It's now worth $25 million. So when you're talking real estate space and you're talking price per square foot, it matters, especially being here in Southern California where real estate is a premium. Yeah, we actually have the uh, highest cost of home ownership and building ownership in the United States. It just came out, I was listening to the news this morning. LA County is number one. We're in Orange County here. In 86, this place was surrounded by orange groves and dirt lots. There wasn't a lot going on here, but now we have, you know, a 1,400 square foot home built in 1965 is a million dollars now. Um, so yeah, so dollar per square foot, that's big. And then also too, you know, we're struggling with the same thing a lot of people are struggling with is labor. Finding labor, keeping labor, making it efficient. And then the cost of wages. I mean, that's going up to $15 an hour, I believe in a couple of years, or if we're not already there, that doesn't just push $15 an hour. That pushes the guys making $20 up $5 an hour. Cause they're not gonna wanna stay 20 bucks an hour. The workers' comp goes up, all that goes up. So being more efficient, that's huge to shops like Sunfoil. I mean, just being able to maximize efficiency and you know create profit, which also helps them invest that increased profit into their guys that are here and their gals and make them better. Um, they can also go invest in new technology. We see a lot with 3D printing and whatnot coming out and you know smart machining and connected machining. So they can take that extra dollar earned and reinvest it back into the shop and make it more efficient. Blake, I couldn't agree more, but if I don't end this conversation soon, you're gonna take my job from me. So I just wanna thank you for sharing this story with MTD. You are a good man, Thanks, a gentleman, it. and a scholar. You too, thank you so much.